Hey guys, Chris Fix here, and today we're testing to see what product is the best at removing tree set from your car. Removing tree set from your vehicle could be a real pain, especially when it's covered all over the place. On this Crown Vic, we have it all over the trunk, it's on the roof everywhere, and it's all over the hood. So that's a lot of work to clean up all that set. So I'm going to be testing all of these products to see what removes sap the quickest and easiest from your vehicle without causing any damage. Some of the products we'll be testing are actually designed to remove tree set. All these right here are designed to remove tree set. We're also going to be testing home remedies such as peanut butter, WD-40, mayonnaise, hand sanitizer, isopropyl alcohol, and then we'll also be testing just soap and water, soap with oil in it, and then soap with pine oil in it, which kind of makes sense because this is pine tree set. So let's see what works the best. So for each product I'm testing, I'm going to go to a different sap stain so that we don't have any products weakening the sap and making it come off easier. Each sap stain will be nice and fresh for each product. I'm going to start with the products on the left and move towards the right, but before I do that, I want you guys to pick a product that you think is going to work the best and comment below. The other thing is, if you use a different sap removal product than all the ones I have up here, make sure you leave a comment for that because I'd love to hear what you guys use yourself. I'm going to put my macro camera right up to the sap spot that we're working on so we can get an up close view as well as an overall view. The first product we're testing is Turtle Wax Bug and Tar Remover. It says to shake it well and let it sit on the sap for one minute. A minute later, let's wipe it off with a microfiber towel. And it's not really working to get all the sap off. So there's the before and after. And you can see it did not remove the sap. And I thought this would work. Let's move on to the next piece of sap and see if Armorol works any better. Again, the instructions say to shake and then let it sit for one minute. A minute later, let's see what we got. Now that definitely worked a lot better, but I was still not able to remove all the set. So let's move on to the next one. Now we're going to try the Raynex Bug and Tar. It says to shake and wait five minutes. All right, five minutes later, let's try to take this sap off. Okay, again, did not remove all the sap. It gets the top layer off, but there's still plenty of sap that's still stuck to the car. Now let's move to a new spot. This time we're using Goo Gone. This stuff is great for removing stickers and adhesive. So hopefully this is our first product that works completely. With this, it says just apply and then wipe off. Okay, finally, something that's actually working. I'm gonna see if I can get the rest of it off with another squirt. Well, I thought this was going to work, and while it's the best so far, it did not remove all the sap from the paint. That being said, let's get a little crazy and test out our next product, peanut butter. Now the idea behind this is that the oils in the peanut butter soften the sap. I've read a lot about this online, so let's see if it actually works. Since the oils need to work their way into the sap, once I'm done, I'm going to let it sit for five minutes. Alright, five minutes later, will peanut butter actually do anything? Let's find out. Dang, I really wanted this to work, but it didn't work that great. All the stuff we previously tested worked better, so let's move on to a new sap stain and give good old WD-40 a try. This can's actually empty, so I'm going to use a smaller one. And according to what everybody says online, this we could just let sit for a couple seconds and wipe off. Okay, this looks like it's working pretty good. So far this has worked the best but there's still sap left on the car after all these products. Let's hope the mayonnaise does something. Grab our mayo. Now the idea behind this is that mayonnaise has fats and oils in it. Just like the peanut butter, it's supposed to kind of blend in with the sap. I don't want to leave this on here too long because mayonnaise is kind of acidic and you don't want acids on your car's paint. After about 30 seconds, let's go take it off. No way, that's working way better than I expected. Now, the only reason why I'm impressed is because this is mayonnaise. We did not remove all the sap, just like in all the other ones. But that worked actually pretty good for mayonnaise. Let's move on to the next one. So now we're going to try hand sanitizer. I'm going to just take the pine needle out of this so I don't rub it into the paint and scratch the paint. We're going to just keep this on for a couple seconds, just like the mayo, just like the WD-40. Holy 
Holy smokes! Now check that out. You can see where the sap was, but it's completely gone. So this is the first thing that actually worked, hand sanitizer. And I really think it's the alcohol. And we're about to test that theory because guess what's next? Rubbing alcohol. So we're going to see if rubbing alcohol works. If so, that is awesome because this really cleaned it all up. Got our rubbing alcohol. And I'm just going to go pour it right onto the spot. And look at this, this is crazy. It's just cleaning it up like it's nothing. I don't even have to rub hard, I don't have to press hard. Just moving it back and forth and it is spotless now. All the sap is gone. So there you go, rubbing alcohol seems to be the key. Any type of alcohol to clean off the surface, so far has done the best. Better than the stuff that is purposely made for sap removal. Now let's find another sap stain and see how well the next product works. Now we're gonna go test plain old dish soap and water. And just as I thought, basically all this is is a degreaser. It's not really taking the sap off very well, so soap and water doesn't really work too well. Now there are only two products left. So a lot of people said online that Murphy's Oil Soap works great, and then I found this stuff in my cabinet. It has actual pine oil in it, so I figured let's give it a shot, because like dissolves like, it just kind of made sense. We're going to do this one first. I'm going to let it soak for about a minute. A minute later, let's try to remove the set. While it did work a little bit, it didn't work to completely remove the sap, just like most of the products, so this one's out as well. Now our last product. Let's see if something with 15% pine oil will actually remove sap. Let it sit for a couple seconds, and then try to remove the sap. And just like most of the other products we tested, it works slightly, but does not remove all the sap. And that concludes the test. So today we tested many different products from crazy stuff like mayonnaise and peanut butter to WD-40, Goo Gone, a bunch of different automotive products, and then some random oil type products and pine oil products that I thought might work. And the conclusion is, the best product to use is alcohol, whether it's straight alcohol or hand sanitizer. Now I'm going to get started on removing all the sap from this car. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. 